Ma... de ma face. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name's Leila and this channel is dedicated to those of you with eczema and topical steroid withdrawal. I myself have had first-hand experience with both topical steroid withdrawal and eczema and in this channel I'm here to help you and share my secrets as to how I have healed my skin. Are you struggling to find foods safe to eat for your skin condition? Are you also finding it very difficult to know what you can and can't eat in order to heal your skin? Well, in this video, we're going to go through exactly what I eat in a day to eliminate the itchy skin and to make sure that your skin stays healthy, healed, and happy. So as always you guys, I'm going to put the recipe list and the ingredients in the description below. And whilst you're down there guys, please hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. I see on my analytics that 90% of you that watch my videos don't subscribe. So please hit that subscribe button. It's super, super important. So that then the algorithm of YouTube will pick up on these videos and really target the people that need to watch them the most that are suffering and they can really benefit from this information. The reason why we need to focus on our diet is so that we can heal from the inside out. Our guts have been compromised and they've been compromised which has caused the skin inflammation that you have on the surface. So by eliminating various few foods and allowing our gut, gut lining to heal and rebuild itself will in turn reduce our skin inflammation and heal our skin conditions. The main food groups to eliminate to allow our gut lining to rebuild itself is eliminating gluten, dairy, nightshades, histamines and sugar. It's Tuesday morning, it's breakfast time and we're going to do oat pancakes, eczema friendly. Every morning, <coughs> Rogos tea, great anti-inflammatory, no caffeine, so you can have as much of this throughout the day. Voila. I can get about three uses out of this tea bag. So the two things I like to do at the start of the week, I normally do it on a Sunday afternoon, is I prep my no tomato sauce and I do my bread, which you can see in the card above um, from one of my previous videos, my eczema friendly bread. So we're gonna get going with the no tomato sauce. The reason why I make this is simply because my kids um, absolutely love tomato sauce and their bolognese, their burritos, their pizza. Um, and I like to make a no tomato sauce because tomato is very, very high in histamine. So what we use is carrots, beetroot, um, onion, garlic, apple cider vinegar, which is low in histamine, 
the only thing that does have a little bit of histamine, which we're only using one teaspoon, is the apple, is the uh, balsamic. But it does give it that taste. But generally, it's much, much lower than your tomato sauce, regular tomato sauce would be. Make sure you don't get this sauce anywhere near your clothes because it will stain probably for life. And there we have our no tomato sauce. So if you don't want to add the balsamic vinegar, no problem. I'm just gonna add one little teaspoon because my skin is kind of doing okay. But I really think that one teaspoon of balsamic vinegar is probably not gonna rock the boat on your histamine levels at this point compared to perhaps, you know, having a oh, spinach or banana or a whole mango or chocolate or coffee or something like that. So I'm gonna add it in in mine. So that's about as much balsamic as I'm gonna add. So I'm just going to add my bread mix to the mould. As you know, you can find my bread recipe in my other videos um, with the recipe as well. Um, but I like to make this bread, you know, once a week or twice a week and just always have it at hand in the kitchen so that I know that I'm not going to stray off my diet so it's always ready to go. Um, I add hemp seed into it as well, which is extra omega. So If you are like me and you've got some rusty old pans, just always make sure you put some parchment paper down. Here, I'm just gonna line my tray like so. And make sure. Then I'm gonna add my chicken, so I'm gonna do a little bit of roasted chicken. If all else fails, you can never think of anything, just get chicken. And I get this chicken that is has no antibiotics in it. There you go. Um, so it's not actually organic, but it doesn't have any antibiotics. It hasn't been treated with any antibiotics. So that's, that's better. Margin. A bit of salt. I'm a massive fan of oregano. Um, oregano. Are you oregano? Oregano, here we go oregano and then I just put that in the oven I've got my bread in the oven I'll put my chicken in the oven too off we go So we're just going to do a no pesto sauce. So not only have we done a no tomato sauce, we're doing a no pesto sauce. And that is literally just some parsley, olive oil, and some yummy garlic. And you can just drizzle that over, you know, anything you want. Your pasta, your rice pasta, um, your, uh, you know, potato, sweet potatoes. You can have it on your meat. Um, you know, if, you, if, you, if you're always struggling to find and think of a sauce, then this is this is great. You know, you've got your no tomato and your no pesto. Um, and in the no pesto, obviously no pine nuts because that's a huge allergen and very high in histamine. Um, but also I'm allergic. So <laughs> there you go. No nuts for me. So no nuts in this video. But obviously if you're not, then go ahead and add, add the, add the uh, pesto if you want. Okay, so we've got to finely chop this super fine. I can't live without my magic bullet. I have to say, it's the greatest investment I ever did. I'll put a link in the description below, it's just beautiful. So, and a little bit of parsley. I've already washed this. Um, guys, so I'm just going to... And I'm just going to drizzle this over my salad, kind of as a salad dressing sort of thing. A bit of olive oil. I'm a bit haphazard me, I don't really 
you know, specify with measurements. That's one thing you'll get to know about me. When you're making up your own recipes in the kitchen, you sort of, you know, just pour and you don't really do very many measurements. Anyway, it's a bit like that and I'm gonna put a tiny bit of water actually. A tiny bit of water, not much, literally. If I had to give a measure, I'd say a teaspoonful. Right, and then I'm gonna put that on my grinder setting because I want to grind that. And on the magic bullet it goes. So then we've got this nice, just, you know, just wet sauce. I just use hot water actually, so I'll let that cool. But that will just be like a nice dressing and it will be very garlicky, obviously. But yummy, you know? It just gives a bit of wetness to your food. Right, next. I'm just going to add my noodles to the top there and give it a toss. <laughs> now we're just going to dart our tomato sauce because it's really beautiful colour. Look at that. I mean, <gasps> you would never even get a tomato sauce that red. It requires a little bit of sauce. So let's just put that in there. Just jar away. And this should keep for about five days in the refrigerator. I like to take my supplements and spread them out throughout the day so that I get the maximum absorption with them as I do take quite a lot. I do enjoy um, taking my supplements with some vitamin C water at the same time because this just helps also lower my histamine levels even further. So around mid-afternoon, I like to have a sugar pick-me-up or the nearest or closest thing to my sugar pick-me-up and I like to have a caro milk. It's similar to a hot chocolate, but instead of the cacao, the chocolate, I use caro, uh, caro powder. So here I just heat up my milk in the microwave and give it a little ping and then grab my caro powder here and add that to my milk and then I just like to use my little whisker, my electric whisker, just to make sure it's mixed up all properly. Sometimes it can get a little bit powdery or a little bit lumpy, the carrot powder, just the same as, as chocolate powder can do. So just to make sure it's nice and smooth, I add that. And this is a great alternative to chocolate if you have that craving for a little something sweet um, instead of having your chocolate, which is very high in histamine chocolate. So we try and avoid chocolate all the time. So I'm gonna get to work now and do some editing on my videos. So evening times is super hectic. When the kids get home from school, they all like to jump in and help with the cooking, especially Isabel. She's jumping right up on there, getting all organized. <laughs> No, you're okay. We're putting in no tomato sauce. There you go. Yeah. Kids are eating their yummy plums just before dinner as a little snack. And then you'll treat. Is it good? Yeah. Yummy plums? Yeah. So it's about is your teeth is your teeth hurting when you yeah. Like that, you've got two wobbly teeth. Let me yeah. see. There Oh, and does it wiggle when you bite the plum? Yeah. Oh. It really hurts. But it's, a, it's actually a good sign when it, when it hurts and eating a plum. It's a good sign. That means it, that means your teeth are more wobbly. And then you'll come out. Oh, that's right.
So to make the flatbread for the burrito, we've got some chick flat, uh, chickpea flour and then some water and some olive oil and again it all goes into my bullet to make a nice paste. I'm just having a baby burrito with my leftover salad for lunch and all's good. Yummy? Yeah. yeah. Thumbs up! Everybody subscribe to my mum's channel. Um, her, her videos is no dairy and um, right now we have no tomato sauce. <laughs> In terms of sweet treats, you guys, I know you've probably all been wondering what we have um, in terms of something, you know, just to end our meals off with. I'm just wrapping up um, the dishes and so forth. So for the evening, I like to chop up a little bit of fruit. I'll have some uh, pear or apple, and I'll take that up to bed with me, actually, with a cup of rooibos tea. I always put my collagen powder in my rooibos tea as well. So this is the collagen powder that I use, and again, I'll put it in the description below. Um, and I put that in my tea at night, because I just feel like you're sleeping at night, and that's when perhaps the collagen can, um, you know, take effect the best is at night time. But you can take pretty much collagen um, at any time of the day. Um, just don't exceed your dose. And then here I have some really delicious majuli dates, and these are so succulent and gorgeous, and you can use these in your cooking. Um, people do them with sticky toffee puddings and all sorts, and so it's a great, great um, pro produce to have just for your, um, to add them to sweet dishes, and, or just have on their own, they're absolutely delicious. I've also got some blueberries, which I love snacking on, and I do those in a chai pudding as well, which I really adore. And then lastly, which I don't uh, hugely encourage, but I'm just allowed to now have a little bit of white chocolate. Obviously this is high sugar, so if you are starting out on your healing journey, I would avoid this, but if you are sort of well and truly near the end of your journey, then you know you could consider this. Um, I would always say, you know, be very careful with sugar. You know, anything that you want to do a trial with, eat it and then wait three days, and if you have no reaction or no flare with your skin, then you're fine with it. Um, but for me, I'm, al I'm allowed to have a couple of little squares of this a day um, and the great thing about it is, is there's no actual cacao in it it's just so there's no chocolate chocolate it's just white vanilla so it's just cocoa butter 
and then obviously sugar and vanilla and <laughs> there's no uh, milk in this so this is a vegan one okay lastly this is a chutney that I made about three months ago and um, this is apple and fennel um, and I used a bit of date syrup or zytolat um, which is um, a natural uh, sugar replacer uh, and I made these chutneys and I have that often with my bread as well which I do enjoy so it's 7 p.m. The kids are making loads of noise upstairs. The hamsters are on their wheels. So I'm going to call it a day today. Um, I hope you guys got some value out of this video. Please leave me some comments down below if you enjoyed this and a thumbs up. And I hope you can check out the recipes in the description. And until then, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye for now.